For a man in the internet world and gaming industry that needs no introduction and one of my favorite streamers, I figured I'd let him introduce himself in this special Five Rules video. The name is Dr. Dr. Dis Respect. And you're looking at the two time back to back. 1993, 1994. Buckle in! Buckle in! Blockbuster video game champion, a true international video gaming superstar. Come right on in. Get inside of the goddamn arena. Because baby, 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 baby. Today's gonna be one hell of a day. It is. Keep your eyes on the road, Doc. All right, two things. Two things, ladies and gentlemen. The throat is shot. I don't know what happened over the weekend. Uh, 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 the throat is shot. It could have been last <laughs> week playing Overwatch, too. You never know. I didn't feel like fucking shaving. I didn't feel like taking the razor blade to this incredible... I mean, look at me. <laughs> hey, like, I mean, look at the shape of the, of, of the face. Look at the jawline. It's a nice jawline. Oh, wow. You know why? Ah! No, my, my throat is my throat is fine. You know what? My throat. I'm screaming and yelling all day. All day long. <coughs> Get in! Right, I'm, I'm going to fight through it. Hey, I am. I'm going to fight for it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 50,000. I repeat, a $50,000 Apex Code Red tournament today. And guess who we're... Hey, 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 guy, hey guess who we're playing with, too? We're playing with Shroud! <laughs> if uh, that doesn't tell you why he's my favorite streamer, one of my favorite creators, I think one of the most interesting people on the internet um, in gaming. And if you're new to the gaming scene or you're stopping by and you don't watch Doc too much, uh, that's just a glimpse. I mean, this man puts so much effort into what he does that it's phenomenal to see. But why does Dr. Disrespect always hate Apex? That's the topic of today's video, and I thought it was interesting because I've always wanted to cover Doc, because I've covered Shroud, I've covered Nick Merckx, I've covered Tim the Tapman, I've covered Courage, I've covered these big streamers and, and what they tell us about Apex Legends. Doc was an enigma. Why does Doc, for whatever reason, who is amazing at PUBG, uh, really a quality player at, at Escape from Tarkov, has some good moments in Warzone, a flexible FPS gaming uh, creator, always have trouble with Apex. Why doesn't it stick? Well, in this video, not only are you going to get that answer from Doc himself later on, but I'm going to tell you why I believe, as we watch some of his gameplay, that Doc doesn't enjoy Apex and what makes Apex different than those other first-person shooters. And it all has to do with something called flow state. Pay attention to that. I will explain it. But let's first watch how he jumps into these games getting ready. Uh, I'm just going to get warmed up. I'm jumping right in. What a have me some fun. I've been the jump master every single game, and I don't mind. And I don't mind. <laughs> uh, he just makes me laugh, man. All right, early drop yeah, come here. In the same building as me. Hey, come upstairs with me too. No, you don't want to go upstairs with me. Okay. Nice purple. But he he does have someone there. Oh, got caught. Clearly not sliding. Yeah, he he hasn't slid like, slid jumped once. Like slide jumped they, once. Like, you know what I mean? How could they? <laughs> oh my god! It's like how can I am run? How does how does the person catch up? This game fucking I fucking hate this game. This game's so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this gives us a great look at what it means to be a new player in this game. And the experience of Apex is that off drop, it's very difficult. And hot dropping when you're new can have these really polarizing experiences. You get three kills, but you also can lose very quickly. And one of the things here is that his movement was showcased. And in Apex Legends, you will be beaten if you do not understand how to move. So that's one of the basics. If you're new, if you're trying to get better, practicing your movement every little day, whether it's uh, the more basic things like slide jumping uh, or it's, hey, wall jumping. Uh, maybe it's trying to uh, tap strafe. Learning these complex movement mechanics uh, will make you a better player, even without learning how to shoot. That's one thing Doc has never really loved about Apex and takes a long time to get used to. And I think that's one of the biggest barriers for streamers who are high profile to come into the game they have to spend a, probably about five days learning movement 
It's very, very difficult to do. Let's go into the next moment because we can learn something. Not, not quite from here, but I'm like, um, like how can they like? You know, that's yeah. your score. How does that person catch up to me, ladies and gentlemen? Like, le legitimately, he's running faster than what I'm running. I think it's ping to the fucking server, man. It's it's not ping. I don't know, man. It was just movement on that one. Run and slide. Yeah, I know. Run and slide. Run and slide. Run and slide. It, it's it's difficult for him. I can tell. Not used to having to over move. He's, he, he likes to aim. And he likes to hit shots. And he's really good at that. So. Oh. No. Oh, no. You can tell the rage, the rage happening inside. Lane game mechanics? I know. Like, the game is so fucking stupid, ladies and gentlemen, that if someone were to land without a weapon, and I've got a weapon, it literally, I have to go through uh, uh, pretty much an entire fucking clip with my weapon while I'm taking... <clears throat> 80 90 percent damage from hits from the person that I am shooting. It's just certain things that this game just don't fucking line up. <laughs> and in, in many ways, like stream snipers are pretty thick today. In, in many ways, <laughs> yeah, he is we'll right. I, custom I, servers, though. This is I, I think Doc I mean, no one else is playing this game, right? <laughs> I mean, the, and these guys that are landing on me are desperate. Just a, a hint. Yeah, but this is a hint. This you know, is they're true. On the channel, desperate. They they love the two time, and they just want to touch. They, they, they just want a little touch. That's it. Okay. So, uh, really, the other thing that I think this moment exposes for Doc and, and teaches us here is that there is a, a a necessity to start yourself off in a better position. Uh, as best a position as you can. Hot dropping again, very, very difficult to do. Center fragment, very, very difficult to do. I've seen a lot of people give the advice, hot drop, hot drop, hot drop. You'll learn through the chaos. I think that is, uh, some people thrive in chaos, some people don't. Um, and honestly, I don't think Doc uh, is one of those that thrives in the chaos of a game like Apex. And I don't think many people do. It is very difficult when you're trying to rebalance your skills and your orientation of what matters in a game like this to jump into the middle of that and have to fight three people in the middle of uh you know fragment buildings that are it's just it's just too much and i think doc likes something a little bit more straightforward he loves the learning process i love watching him learn new games but again about apex there's too much happening at the same time that doc doesn't give himself credit for now let's mention the first big thing that i want to say because before we watch a little bit of what he does with shroud i then want to show you why he says he hates apex and see what you guys think about it but my theory is that doc is unable to get into a flow state with apex and apex actually has a harder flow state to achieve because of it because of its difficulty than most other first person shooters now if you're not familiar with a flow state it is a psychological principle that allows uh i believe his name's uh chick sit met lehigh or uh, god what how do you say his name uh uh chick sit met mit I, I i just want to know how to say it it's just a russian name that's so fun to say uh but he came up with this idea that some there's this difference there's this there's this thing that you can achieve um that allows you to be in total uh, flow total uh, uh, one with the process and the experience of what you're in you ever be working on a project or playing a, a, a video game or playing a sport and you're just in the zone as you would call it well this is what he would say is flow and the the reason uh, this happens is when you have an appropriate level of a challenge with an appropriate level of a skill and they meet in the middle whereas your challenge is not too difficult to be so hard you're stuck and you don't know what to do and your skills aren't too overly and it's also not too easy to where it's boring and your skills aren't too good to where you're you're obviously so good at this you don't even have to think about it and you're not so bad with your skills to where you have no way to actually uh you know do the right you know maneuvers to succeed 
when you have that perfect balance of something that's just challenging enough and you have just the right amount of skill to where it's still a challenge but you're still able to succeed and be involved in it and have to focus that is where we call the flow state and this is where great writers great actors great sports uh you know uh superstars and great video gamers end up being and doc i believe unfortunately when it comes to apex is very low on the skills because he has not rooted himself in games like this before that are more movement based than shooting based and i believe that apex in general is a greater challenge for most players which is why we'll see players come in and spend five days really having no idea what to do because they're still developing the skills to be able to match not a normal challenge but a higher than average challenge of a first-person shooting game. And I think that's why Tim the Tapman's, uh, you know, even encourages uh, people like that who, who like Apex but then want to back out at a certain point do not stick with the game. And that's one of the reasons why I think Nick Merckx has been very interesting in our community uh, because he's essentially just stuck with the challenge. And he is... Yes, developed more and more skills as it's gone by. A lot of people still don't give him credit. Check out my video about that as well. But let's watch a little bit of what Doc does with Shroud because I think this will help us uh, discuss a little bit about how they're playing. And then we'll go into why Doc says he personally doesn't like Apex. Now, you know, this is a tough situation. You're in a tournament. The end of the game. Doc looking to create... An opportunity maybe to get a couple of kills. You see T-squared as well killing Shroud. That's one of my uh, casting buddies right there on the ALGS. And this is who Doc I'm is, man. He wants to get aggressive. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. We're hot dropping next game. And here is, uh, so here's the most important part. Why Doc himself says, I'm not interested in Apex. You can see there's a lot of things to, you know, critique in his play. I want to be fair to Doc because that's, you know, just a bunch of clips. But I think this is the most important part of the video. This is why Doc says he hates Apex. And I want to know if you guys agree. We're going to leave it after this with the video. Uh, but let me know what you think about it. All right. Uh, Apex is one of these games that just, it, it never grabbed me, pulled me in. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, like not the, for everyone, I guess. But. I just, you know, I, like for me to know that I have to go, th like I have to reload my weapon in order to put this guy down. That I have to, like that, that, that a full clip precision is not enough. I mean, it, it is. The thing is, it, to be that precise, you're, it's near impossible unless you're on a controller. Yeah, I, I, I like. There's no like this game. What it, what it doesn't provide me, Shroud. Okay, is it doesn't provide me with that one opportunity to make a extremely big shot. That's exactly what I said. If somebody, so somebody asked me what I would rather play if I had to, if I had a choice, like what would I play forever, PUBG or Apex? Only those two as my options. And I said PUBG because of that simple fact. PUBG has that feeling of like you can you can clutch up with an amazing shot. In this game, not so much. It's more about wearing your opponents down. It's more about the strategic like positioning and just wearing them down. Yeah. So I like I like hitting banger. Uh, me too. And there's very few weapons that can do that in this game. <laughs> but yeah, that's part of the reason why I do like Apex though. I do like it because it's so different. It's not like it's not so much about hitting bangers. It's about being consistent and you know wearing the other team down. So it's cool. It's different styles, you know. I think there needs to be multiple games in place so you can have different styles. I think this, this Doc is, is done. Really, really good. <laughs> Well, a great showcase of what uh, Doc likes to do. And let me know if you guys agree with that sentiment. It's all about bangers, about turnaround potential, the consistency, the TTK, maybe a little flow state. Let me know what you picked up from this video and leave a like for more profiles on Apex Legends players and, of course, creators around the Internet. Never give up. Never stop gaming. I'll see you guys next time.